What's up everybody, it's your boy Ali coming to you live and today I'm going to be talking about the new COVID-19 shelter in place guideline for the Santa Clara County here in California. But before I proceed, please make sure to subscribe to my channel Grubbin with Ali. We're going to be talking about so many things such as, you know, daily living, lifestyle, finance, sports, we cook, uh, beauty, whatever it is, I got you guys covered. Also, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the new shelter in place guidelines that just came out today from Gavin Newsom and his whole presentation on what's closing. And also, drop a like. All right, so it's July 13th, 2020. So far, nothing different. Um, a lot of places are still closed, um, times are still a little bit limited. Um, Stacy and I are able to go to the mall here and there and maybe pick up a few things shop just a little bit um, Everyone's strictly wearing masks. Of course, there are lines uh, being formed outside of every shop So the capacity is still cut in half um, As far as eating out. I mean It's been a few times we've eaten out and um, It's the same way tables are separated more than six feet apart and um you know, people are just removing their masks as they eat, of course, but otherwise, there's still a strict guideline. No restaurants are open indoors yet. Um, I've seen maybe a few, but that's about it. Um, we did go to Napa, and the wineries were shut down and closed. They were only open to members only for about the first two weeks, which is about maybe a month ago. Um, I heard things have changed. It's just you really have to book an appointment because time slots are pretty heavy. Yeah, we've still been just buying through Amazon, you know? We haven't really been going out as much. Um, and if we do go out, it's maybe for like a drink or two. That's about it. Paying bills online, we're not going out anywhere. If I have to withdraw cash, I'm going out to the ATM machines. There are certain Chase banks and Bank of America banks that only allow walk-in and they're very limited to those locations. A new activity that we actually um, considered doing was uh, planting our own garden, in which we started yesterday. Um, I put out a video yesterday which Stacy and I um, went to the home improvement stores and gathered up some herbs and created our own herb uh, pot out in the uh, front patio, which was really nice. Um, we're still trying to do a few things here and there, maybe uh, get creative here in the home because, you know, it's pretty strict out there still. Let's get straight to it. Today, Gavin Newsom went out and uh, he uh, proposed the new orders for July 13th. Here, uh, it's Monday. So um, I'm gonna read you a few things, but I'm gonna put it up on the screen pretty soon here. But uh, most dining restaurants are closed. Um, wineries are closed, museums, zoos, wineries, tasting rooms. It sucks because Napa is just an hour away. And then you have other places such as, uh, we have Sonoma County, you have places near Gilroy, um, Saratoga even, uh, nearby places where they're shut down completely. And um, all bars must be closed. Um, and they also put out on the website that if uh, you notice anything where um, a bar is open, go ahead and report it. And there's a link down below that's that'll pop up. I'll go and send that to you in a bit here. But also there are um, indoor, uh, let's see, operations that are going to be shut down for about three days. I don't know why it's three days exactly. It's not really clear as to why. Um, and I don't know if it's going to start today. I'm assuming it is. I just literally got my hair cut earlier today. And they're saying that barbershops and salons are going to be closed uh, for 72 hours. So about three days. But I, I don't know what that means exactly. They just, Great Clips in Sunnyvale just literally opened today. It was a grand opening. And um, the experience there was very different. Everything was like right when you get in, you have to hand sanitize. You got your mask on. Um, anyway, you got your fitness centers. You have your places of worship, so churches, um, offices for non-critical sectors, uh, personal care services. So I think that's where the salon and barbershops come in place. And then um, you got the malls. So yeah, they're gonna be closing for three days. And then after I think um, they'll reopen, I'm assuming. All right, so I read an article on ABC7 News um, written by Julian Glover stating what the uh, gyms would look like and I actually got the first dibs on what they would look like from one of my boys, Anthony Perez. He told me that they'd be removing some cardio machines. So I read this article, very, very interesting. And yes, it is true. Um, they are going to be removing um, ellipticals, uh, treadmills, anything that 
you know, with your heart rate speeding up super high, they're gonna go and remove that. Um, you got the swimming pool, saunas, steam rooms, those are still gonna be shut down. Um, also with classes, instead of about 21 to 30 people, they're capping it at about 10. So you must wear a mask at all times. So gyms will reopen in just a few days here. Um, it's I'm not too sure if it's gonna be every gym, but they're saying that they should be uh, qualified to reopen here. Let me know what you guys think about that whole gym issue. I totally feel like most members should get like a price cut because you're paying for this, you know, for this membership about like, 50 bucks, maybe 60 bucks per month, depending on the gym you go to. Um, usually it's about 40, 45, but either way, I mean, you're not gonna have the machines that you need or want and they're not gonna be available. I mean, is, most people don't even weight lift like that. You know, maybe like five or 10 pounds here and there, but they really rely on the cardio machines. What do you guys think about, you know, those being removed and, you know, with their price cut? I mean, are people gonna be able to negotiate with these store managers, like the ones in like 24 Hour Fitness, or maybe, uh, you know, you got uh, City Sports, you know, uh, Planet Fitness. You know, is this something that you can actually negotiate with them and say, hey, I'd like a price cut, you know, I don't, I'm not working out like I used to. I don't have all the, you know, the necessities here anymore. So is there something that we can go ahead and uh, just lower down the payments? What do you guys think? Also with the restaurant industry, we've been noticing that a lot of high-end restaurants have been building boxes to go, like build your own box and you're kind of like bring them to your house and just cooking it yourself or self-preparing, kind of like Blue Apron, um, which is really unique. Is this something that we're gonna be seeing more often later in the future? Is this the new standard? Um, also, you know, I've noticed a lot of the waiters and waitresses and the bar, you know, bar employees, they've been wearing masks, of course. But um, I mean, I know this may be the new norm, but is this something where it's kind of like you just on a Friday night, you want to go out, hang out with your friends or maybe, you know, date night and you're just going to pick up on the window a margarita or some type of cocktail to go? Or is this going to change how California lays out their alcohol policy, such as like how Louisiana does it? You can just drink outside publicly. Is it something that you can just, you know, something that might be implemented where you just buy a drink and sip outside? It's really hard to control these things. I mean, that'd be really dope if you can just, you know, you get your drink to go and you kind of like sip outside. Um, I mean, there's, I mean, there's indoors, you can't sip indoors. I mean, kind of right now there are seats um, in downtown, such as like downtown Sunnyvale, downtown Mountain View, you have downtown Palo Alto, where the streets are closed off um, that are tailored to restaurants, putting out more seats. So, you know, you can drink out there. That's something I think you know you'll be able to sip of course but other than that i mean what do you guys think about that also with like the zoos i mean the animals are locked up in these cages right um there's not really like a glass barrier kind of like blocking between the contact between you and the animal um pathogens and bacteria still coming back and forth through the air um do you think that they're going to be changing the way animals are in cages you know, do you think they're gonna be in like glass boxes of any sort? This is something really unique. San Francisco's and Oakland Zoo is I think pushing for an opening, but um, I feel like they may be in like an aquarium type situation. Um, it's just gonna be so odd, you know? Um, so that's gonna be unique. Places such as like AMC, once they open up, um, do you guys see them actually, you know, you know, when one person sitting down in a chair and then every other seat will be closed off and the next person sits, um, that's an awkward situation, especially when you're taking out someone on a date. What do you guys think about that? So there has been new data that's been put up by Johns Hopkins um, all the way from July, to, uh, all the way to July 12th, I believe. And basically there's a spike. Um, there's been new um, data suggesting that there are over 8,000 cases in California and the positivity rate or like the rates of the test being positive have spiked up to 7.4%. So that's an increase. Hospitals are seeing an increase as well in cases. Um, I'm not too sure which hospitals those are. It has just been a crazy ride these last four to five months. 2020 has for sure been insane. 
I mean, I, I know you guys can agree to that. Um, it's been weird, but you got to make the most out of it. You just got to stay safe, healthy, and stay positive. If you guys can manage to find a pop-up test site, please get yourself checked. All right, well, that's it for today's topic on the whole quarantine update on July 2020. Um, once again, Gavin Newsom uh, stated publicly today for the California shutdown policy and guideline. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, add those snippets down below. And um, But yeah, tell me what you guys think. Tell me how you guys are coping during these times. Um, I know I've tried to been update you guys since March on how I'm doing, how Stacy and I have been doing um, in the home, going out a little bit here and there. Um, but yeah, for the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy, and um, subscribe to my channel, Grubbin' with Allie. If you have nothing to do, click down below and uh, support your boy. Watch these videos. Hopefully they're helpful to you. Hopefully you find them entertaining of, it, of some sort. Um, but anyway, drop a like, drop a comment down below. Till next time.